Welcome to Digital Art 101 Boost Camp by Nifty Tribe, powered by Afen Blockchain Group in collaboration with Bob Labs and Adobe Express. This is an Adobe Photoshop tutorial.
Hello everyone. Hello everyone. Please, I would like to, and I would love someone to respond, please. Good evening. Good evening. see uh, the meeting host Afin blockchain group uh, uh, Damak Blessing Toyosi and Musimilulu Ulanke. So I, I would like to start immediately. So I um, uh, I believe you've joined others to uh, the Savi to to learn uh and have some session on adult lightroom uh this is photoshop i believe photoshop is popular but i'm going to be using it like um, as a visual artist i have already launched it as you can see on your screen and uh, so basically what i am going to be doing today is to show how uh, you can paint with Photoshop. I am Yuaki Emi, uh, a visual artist and art historian. So, uh, before the advent of digital painting, uh, it's it's usual to it's a, it's, a, it's an etiquette and a traditional medium is the. So the tools have been regenerated to suit 
the same purpose as I'm going to be showing us this evening. So I uh, last week when I uh, took the Adobe Illustrator, I intimated us with the um, different brushes and especially certain tools that can give give us some visual representations that is suitable for our brief or design but in that case we're working on surface design so here this is the launching page and i will just click on i am going to actually use my image you could as well use anyone's image so now let's assume you were asked or you felt or inspired to paint yourself and you have this so what you have is um, compared to the Lightroom you have different tools to use most of them are the same but the arrangements are different but today the tool I'm going to be using mostly is the pen tool the smudge tool the paint bucket, paint bucket tool, and as the case may be, I may use eyedropper. As the case may be, too, I may use the eraser tool. So now, uh, so immediately you launch an image. It could be of yourself, or it could be of any other subject. But I'll try to touch on images of the face today and as well i am going to touch on probably a still life an example could be flower or it could be another arrangement of a breakfast setting so so the first thing you have to do immediately you launch the image is to go to image adjustment and you go to shadows and highlights Shadows and highlights, and what you do here is to make some. The intention is to make some harsh, some ash edit. Uh, there's a purpose for that, and we'll get to the to that as we go on. Then I can come to the levels. You can drag it here. Sorry. Drag it. Adjustment. And the intention is to, you know, make my image more compelling compelling i am using my image and my intention is actually to make it a kind of audacious image like i want to have a feel of <laughs> i want to have a feel of superhero something like that because when you look at the image the image doesn't look quite on the friendly side but notwithstanding i'm supposed to make a painting out of it and make something quite interesting so I can have this. So now, the moment you are able to achieve something like this, the next in line is to click on the paint bucket. So when you click on the paint bucket, you can directly pour the color you choose on the image. Regardless, you can still go on Ctrl Z and choose your color as you like I, I i i want to choose something like a dirty dirty green so something like a dirty green something close to this now if it's if it's other colors this is exactly also what you get 
something like this. So, so but when you use a paint bucket, it's appropriate to use a zoom tool to be able to fill certain spaces because the computer would assume will not assume and it will just follow what you put out there so the 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 intention is to get something close to this something colorful something colorful now this is a lot of procedure but you know it's achievable it's achievable so now we can zoom out and this is what you have can still do this there are different ways to get this done but this is one of the simplest it's a little bit tasking, but it's also one of the simplest. Like I said, zoom in. Zoom out. Yes. So the next thing is to zoom out of this. So now, uh, probably on the Telegram group, I am going to be sharing a number of things like the brush link so now the, the the next thing is to come here the smudge tool you click on the smudge tool you can see the moment you click on a tool it brings out the accessory on the top here so if i zoom out if I zoom out the brush is too big so I may have to I may have to reduce it from here. So we'll do something like 23. Now when you look at the face, you know what we have here is something that you 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 follow the contours because for instance, let's assume I do this. It doesn't go with the contour, so there is an error in it. So, Ctrl Z. So, you follow this. Like this. So, if you're using a mouse, you just click and drag. So, I am only following this. Then, uh, you can choose how subtle and how soft now if you look at what we've just done it's quite like it gives the effect of a traditional painting brush strokes if you click on this now look at this it's more subtle this is more subtle so now there's always the temptation to check what you are painting It's, it's it's best to achieve something first before so this is the face uh, if you move to if the brush line is too much you go back uh, if you check out what I'm doing uh, I'm going to reduce the brush stroke again so depending on the contours that is how big your brush can be. So, so pretty much you're going to be moving between increasing the brush, the, br the smudge size, the smudge brush size essentially is actually a brush. So I'm just flowing with the outline. And get the I think I'm getting closer to the lip side. So this is it. You know, 
if you want it to be warmer but essentially if i zoom out I zoom in now I zoom in other in this is what i get but i will like to move a bit faster so we get to see what we're up against would have loved to hear from the class has anyone used photoshop to paint before i would love to hear please you can also put it in the comment section if you've used photoshop to paint I mean, photoshop can be used for different purposes you can use it to make designs you can use it to edit photos and as the case is now okay not yet oh okay thank you blessing thank you mr but do you think what i'm doing is a bit complex or do you want me to go back to the beginning please i can quickly do that I don't mind and thanks for the response. Now, I choose my own image for reasons I don't know, but I think I don't want to infringe on anyone's rights because that's another thing we have to deal with in the design world. So sometimes uh, I felt for practice, you may want to pick an image from the internet and the image might not be yours. And especially because if the image now turns to become something that's beautiful and you put it out there, the person might press charges. So I am just painting with smudge tool. The smudge tool, sometimes the photographers use it to, to kind of clean up their images, make it uh, uh, to give it a kind of smooth surface. And that's why many times the clients will say that their pictures is looking too, too plastic. So what we do in the studio also is to, while you're working on the main subject, to work on the background. Because sometimes you get tired. But for me, I usually work on the face first. Then I do the, and don't forget, you can always press Ctrl Z once there's a mistake. So now, this, this is just a landing, um, example and exercise i'm still going to probably pick on something less something that is uh, i'm going to pick a, a totally different subject probably a flower would be good then we'll start from the beginning again but this is just to quickly bring us into this now there's something people do lately which is uh, when people when their folks or friends are celebrating their birthdays something the it's a wrong statement that they call it frame <laughs> essentially it's if you want to make a portraiture you make a portraiture you know and so but people want to see their image so this is um you can actually make good money from it including the nfts it means you can take a picture and turn it into what looks like an oil paint or pastel there's even the possibility of making it look uh, like a watercolor painting so now i'm moving fast i'm using mouse now i if you have uh, a wacom tablet you can use it too. and at best you can also use You can also use an iPad. You can also use a Samsung tablet. All in all, what you need 
to understand is the tools. So after launching the image, I edited the image. I made it, I gave it a, an extreme edit, which makes it look quite um, intense. Then I dragged the smudge tool on this. And depending on the flow, like I said, please, uh, in the last previous class, if you want to make an headway in art, at best you play with it. So this is one of the several methods to paint. There are complex, more refined way, but I am not here to show off. Uh, the basic thing is to show you step-by-step -step guide to doing this. So now, uh, now after this, the 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 the, the clouds look uh, a bit rough. So I can have a bigger brush and drag it like just give it a bold sweep so that it's it it looks uh, a bit more presentable. I still have the face to do it, so I will just work on the head now quickly for so there's actually nothing you cannot head it out. To Z, yes, so, can zoom out. so in um, in artistry class, this will be called an impressionist painting. So, uh, an impression painting is more of um, thick, rough brush strokes. You paint with thick, rough brush strokes, and when you do that. By the time you are done with the artwork, it's it look it looks rough on the surface when you move too close to it or when you zoom in. But the moment you zoom out, the image comes forth. So this is the same thing with our body. When you when we look at our body from a close view, it looks kind of rough. But by the time you take a picture or something, then the image itself turn around into something else. Your skin will look smooth. So, uh, uh, okay, I can just do the hair. I reduce this. I can still reduce this to probably around uh, 12. So, when you are touching here, uh, the places like eyes here when you bring your smudge tool on it all you need to do is just drag it on drag the smudge tool on it you don't need to really do anything extra so then I can zoom out to have something like this so now this is a brushed session on how to paint a portrait painting using uh, alternative medium on brushes in Photoshop. Now, this is the brush tool, and I this brush tool is the paint control Z. This one is the uh, it's a paint custom brush. So now I click on this, then I go to the colors. Yes, I have some intense. I can just make some splash of colors and make it I give you a kind of different effect. Something like green. And usually when you do this, if you click on this side, the brush settings. When you click on the brush settings, immediately after picking a brush, you can click on flip X, flip Y. Then you can increase the spacing. Click this bag. I'm going to take this gradually once I am done with this one so that we can follow suit. So, okay, this. so we can go I'll probably have some yellow. So, 
this here just to create a kind of effect and if you want to now do what most painter does which is to probably have an effect probably to create a kind of balance since i picked yellow here see what the brush did in that place so i can increase the size something like this something like this here I can still bring it here as well then you can go to your smudge tool increase the size and blend it in with the image you can just blend it in just blend it in so it's, it's kind of create a balance so all i did is drag my mouse on it then we have something like this then i think i have um... so now the eyedropper tool for example i don't like the way the back of the head looks here so you can click on the eyedropper tool. Once you click on the eyedropper tool, it shows it. So you can pick, just click on it, then it picks the color. It picks the color. It picks the color you have around that place. So I don't like the light at the back of the head. So let me pick this. Then you have this. So uh, when you're done, you can just press Ctrl Shift S. Save on the computer, then let's start this. Uh, you know. Then I can save it. You can save it in IPXLs uh, in case you want to print it out to frame it afterwards. So now I can go to my pictures. I, I've done this before. So I'm going to show you what I have. So this is what I just did. In a moment, please. Sorry, I don't know. <laughs> the music said not sure. Okay, so this is what I have done before. In a moment, it should launch. Yes. So this is what I did before. Let me zoom in so you can have a proper viewing. Then afterwards, um, the last few minutes, this is what was achieved. All in different color tones and medium. So now I um, so for for the sake of uh, okay, I have. Uh, blessing mastura and bimeret so i'll close this and start afresh so i'm just going to call go to file open please i'll be following so, so i'll go to exercise so now i have i have flower here i have another flower i have fruits kind of still life here but I think probably I should choose this let's let's imagine I want this so I'll pick on this then launch it so let's imagine I want to turn this into a painting you know the first thing I said is you can you go to image after opening the image it could be a picture of you took by yourself or a picture you pick offline or online. To go to image, you go to adjustments, you come to levels. And when you get to levels, you are able to increase or decrease. I want it to be a little more lighter. Lighter. Then I increase the contrast a bit here. You do this. You want it to be too dark, then you click on OK. 
then I can as well come back and go to vibrance vibrance I can increase it to the extreme length of it then the saturation goes to us so now there's something peculiar I'm going to show you now you click OK I mean notice this is totally different from the initial image on the toolbar here you go to filter when you get to, when you get to filter you go to filter gallery these are two things we're going to use filter gallery and sharpen so now the first thing you do is i said go to the toolbar go to filter go to sharpen then you click on sharpen automatically the image gets more creeps then you go on it again you click on sharpen twice then you might do it more like three times then you go to sharpen edges so when you look at the image if i zoom out now you notice it's it's more uh, it's kind of pixelating and more sharp so the sharpness is to help what we're about to do now so i'll go to filter then you go to filter gallery so when you get to filter gallery on the right hand side you see different templates and part of the template is dry brush color pencil you know there are different options here that are very nice if we click on the dry brush let's see what it gives so it kind of gives us a kind of watercolor effect I click on 25 percent here to see the image or 50 percent to see how the image looks like so it's already gave the image a kind of watercolor effect then you click ok so when you click ok now you come to you come to sorry i have to hide this yes so you come to the image here background you double click it to unlock the image then you right click or just simply come you right click on it then you duplicate layer so so that if anything happens to the layer you want to work on now then you might go back to the one you have so the the next thing you do is go to the paint tool so when you get to the paint tool you you pick on a color you find attractive or the color you think at best suits this image so what you do now is you click on the cursor here and you, know, you can choose you choose the brushes hard run brush is what i choose so this is what i get because the color i have is what is on so i can click back then i can go to blue probably it's all blue then i can drag this on the old picture this is actually magical if you follow through to get what exactly i'm trying to do so you rub everything in you can always go back i can always go back to review to show you what what this is so instead of using the smudge tool i can pick on the eraser tool eraser tool then i can click on so once i click on the eraser tool a soft round brush increase the size I have something like this so depending on how now the the, the soft the, the brush is a bit um, soft so you can increase the hardness or you can just click on the add round brush so you can click you can control Z this go back to the brush click on hard round brush then do this so you're going to have this don't forget instead of the smudge tool now i use the eraser tool 
so when you do this you can now click on the go back to the layers you you know you hold press control key and hold then you click on both then you click merge visibly so when you merge visibly then you can now come to the smudge tool and have another drama entirely or you can click on the brush tool and and um, you know use it to create different effects for instance i have different brushes downloaded for the internet so when you click on one and then go to the brush settings you can flip x and y then increase the spacing then then i take this back in so I'm actually using three different methods. The last one is going to be exactly like the first one. This is another time. So you will now choose the one you find most appropriate. And the, the, so now, so when you click on the image, this is how it's going to be moving. It's going to attempt to automatically paint the work by itself. It would merge the brushwork This is what you have here. So, yeah. Now, this is totally interesting. And meanwhile, I can still zoom out and use my smudge tool use it and have this at the center you can still alter things here so at the end of the day you're going to have whether you want to create it for nfts or you want to just have a collection of artworks for yourself you, know, you can always have this printed out on art paper and anyone that sees it will actually think you did this painting by the hand it's a it's a this is my own personal recipe <laughs> it was derived all that happens is for me to sometimes when i feel like i'm up to it i paint directly on the paper, take picture of my brush strokes and generate it as a brush that I will use to paint on the computer. So we have this. So now I can now go to the edits. I can crop this because I feel it's too, it's, 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 uh, I want it to look compact. Yes. I want it to look compact and click on enter after the cropping. Then I can go to the image adjustments. And make a certain adjustment again on the work. Just to give it that more detailed touch. So my brands again increase it you can increase the saturation then i have a flower now you can use different flower but this was the one i i, I found so you can click on control s and save you save this as number two then you can save it as a jpeg or better still save it as a png and you save it on the pictures large file so now um, I would like to go again uh, using the first method I used earlier so I said you go to open you'll go to the uh, class exercise uh, this time I think I'll pick uh, let's say this 
and sometimes it's best to pick on challenging subjects now this is more like a fruit and now imagine turning this into a painting that you can sell anywhere in the world you can have hundreds and thousands of its copy depending on what you want and how you want it so i said this i've used two different methods now so the first method is the one i want to repeat on this i hope blessing and master are falling so now going back on it i said once you open the image the next thing you do is oh thank you mr so what you do is you click on image after launching the image you click on image on the toolbar here you click on image you go to adjustments you go to levels now sometimes you can click on auto just to have a feel of how the computer will arrange itself now i think i like it because before if i cancel it you notice the background is dark and when i click on adjustments and levels it shows and i click on auto you notice the ambience is more lighter i think this is okay so i'll just click on okay I'll go on it again then you can come to vibrance when you go to vibrance the intention of going to vibrance under image adjustment is to make you know we are looking at food here you know it, it would be nice if it is more sensual like edible even in while looking at it because essentially that is what people buy when your painting looks quite inviting when your painting looks emotionally exaggerated like uh stiff or sensual like you and the only way you can achieve that is to is to make the colors more warmer or cooler so i just increase the pictures i mean i just increase the saturation and increase the vibrance as well it's when i look at the napkin it looks more bluish against the red and orange so the white here balances it so naturally blue is a complement of orange orange is a complement of blue so you can just click ok and at the center of it all you have to play with this the more you play with it the more uh, better you get at it so now I have this, I have a kind of yellow ochre background. So I said immediately after you open the image, after coming to adjustments and uh, levels, um, vibrance. Now, if you look at the picture generally, it's very, very warm, except for the blue that balances it. So what we would have is we can still go to the image, uh, adjustments, and go to photo filter. When you get to photo filter, you notice the color, the, dif the, the default color here is uh, orange, which means it's warm, warm filter. So you just click in the box here, cool filter. Let's see what the cool filter will give us. Okay, it's more cool filter. There are different types of it. I, I want it to have some warmth to it, cooling filter. Let's see what yellow gives. Okay, I think I like yellow. So it's not on the high notes or key. So and the density here you can increase it. Let's see when I increase it, it totally change the whole thing. So I can just increase it to probably 30. Or yeah, there about 30 is good. Okay. Where did I get this? I went to image adjustment photo filter and I did delete full. So now the next thing is to go to filter then you go to filter gallery now the image worked with the last brush i i, I selected for the flower and i said on the right hand side you have all these artistic brush strokes distort sketch stylized texture for instance the artistic is the one i choose of the dry brush that gives this kind of watercolor effects now you can pick on others, look at what this gives. Film grain. I kind of like the film grain. Painting dabs. Look how, how it looks exact exactly like a painted oil painted work or acrylic painted in this look at it. 
Rooster edges, rough edges, smudge stick, watercolor, underpainting, sponge. But so far, I think I like the. Uh, okay, this is rough pastel. I think I like the poster. I uh, no, no. I like the paint dubs. No, this is palette knife, plastic round. So so far, paint dubs, film grain, fresco, cutouts. Now look at cutouts. Cutouts really make the work look like a vector image. And it is very interesting. So, but that's not what we are. We, our intention is to have something like a paint dubs or film grain. So I think I'll go with the paint dub. So now on the right side also you see the brush size. So which means if I increase the brush size, this is what I get, and I can reduce it to give me what I need. I think I should just a little yes uh, if you look at this sharpness so you know you know this that is why i said you should just play with it it's 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 up to you to decide when enough is enough <laughs> like a philosopher said now the, the the brush the, the brush type is simple so you can have light and rough you can have dark rough you can have white sharp. I think the white sharp is interesting. It's a bit blurry. White blurry. Sparkle. So now I think I'll just go with the simple. So and I said as soon as you're done with that, okay, then um, then you can. Okay, I have other types there. Like if you go to this dot now, you see this is what it gives. Look at that. This is glass. This is ocean ripple. And if you go to sketch, this is what it gives you. Look at this. This is charcoal. This is graphic pen. This is contour crayon. This is chrome. Half tone pattern. This is note paper articulation now on and on and on this is what you get so but i want a brush through that is just paint dubs then you click on okay so this is what we get here so when you get here the next thing you do is like i said you can pick your paint bucket and decide that okay the background i want to give it another tone to it you know you know probably though the, i like the dark part but let's see what it looks like if you give it a dark shade i give it a blue tone here in the table so now and then we have something like this then the next thing is to so how, how do I get it? I pick on the paint bucket. I can go back again. So because I pick the image from the internet and I want to transform it into my own. So after taking it to e edit, image, edit, and filter, I got here. I click on the tool, paint bucket tool. Then I click on the image. You don't have to make get it perfect. So once you drop it somewhere, that's 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 enough so then i can go to smudge tool you know so when you get to smudge tool the moment you click on your tool you have to go up here and then go to pick the the the, the brush the, the preset brush so this is the preset brush you know see what i what happened here so that's the preset brush and what I want to do is to just have a little, a little twerking of the image. You understand? Just a little twerking of the image. So you can reduce the brush size. You can zoom out. Then, you know, just have, just play around. You know, just play around. You know, for, for, for a visual artist and a painter that has participated in 
and as an art in medicine fellow, you know, art therapy, when you come for a therapy session, and like most painters too will tell you, when they paint, it's like an escape. See what I'm doing? You know, this is like a this is actually a pumpkin, but it looks like tomatoes. So all I do is just drag around the the pattern, the pattern of how God made it. So look at this. I can reduce the brush here. Drag. Drag this. So enjoy it. Then you know, let's look at how it see it looks kind of interesting to me. Although I think I'll so control this this yes it's time to show so then I can go to the next side you know I can have the same experience I'm using the smudge tool and when you're using the smudge tool you know all you do is just drag it if you're using a pen it's it's well it's more convenient but what if you don't have the pen especially the wacom tab they come expensive so you can use your mouse to do this and there's always a first time to everything which means you may you may start difficult but that's why i said just play Look at this. So other than just editing photographs, you can paint with Photoshop. Paint with Photoshop. And if you are on the page and you live in Lagos, there are different places where you can print your work. You can print your work in Pangu. You can print your work in Chumolu. And they do the high printing that's direct image printing they do it on they do it on alabaster paper they, if, if if your painting is they do it on canvas so you can actually finish your work look at this so now the beauty of smudging is i just did something interesting now i will zoom i will i'll go back now the blue here is meant to actually reflect on the tomatoes the fruits so when it reflects, it's it, this is part of what makes your work exceptional. Mm. And and in painting, this is called the interplay of color. Everything is interwoven, just like the rainbow. It's never standing in, on its own. So it's a it's a large giant meshed color spectrum. So look at this. So now, so while, while painting, and you get tired. You know, you can just move to the background. Let's smudge the background. Now, you notice I didn't touch the napkin. I didn't touch the napkin because I felt, well, I have already done that in the filter session. It has given me a detailed piece. But there's something I'm going to do. That's why I said, you know, like they said, a true artist knows how to steal. I am not a thief. <laughs> but then I'm teaching you how to fish. So I will just smudge the background. Smudge the background, and I'll show you something I was talking about on the napkin side. Now, now the owner, the original owner of the image, might say, "Oh, this is my napkin," but you know, we can twerk it like smudge particular parts out. You know, just do something, and when you look at it, it kind of distorts the image. Give it a kind of part of it is blurry some sharp so look at this this is the table actually so i just did this and i i want you to have the kind of atmospheric feel to it look at that so essentially everything we do in the world now is a remix of everything you can have an original idea and why you why you think you're holding on to it somebody else is already working with it 
so that's why i said this style i'm showing live today is my own style like i use all the tools backward i use the tool to give me what i would have if i was to paint that in the same image in the studio so, so uh, um, i think because there are more females here today which is actually good because the quote i want to make guys do that find it to be sentimental i believe the female are the true artist of all why all i'm painting all the while is what they do to their face every day so i can imagine a female who has been painting her face from childhood she must have done hundreds and hundreds of thousands of portraits that were not sold and that were not in auctions or galleries so they i actually mentioned this because they would understand the concept of foundation laying certain colors on the face before putting others before introducing other type of colors and one thing in painting also is knowing when enough is enough like i just smudge this in now i don't want excess look at this i just smudge it in the beauty of painting this way is it is also okay to leave certain things in leave them to just in our platform like let's see because i'm not thinking about that so i not everything so i can just zoom in around this so now and you can just do this i do this a lot like sometimes i just click on ctrl shift s save uh food one so i see that's foot one let me see that foot one save okay i said foot one because I'm thinking, what if I want to eliminate the jog? You know, like I can click on the smudge tool again, increase the size. Let's see. <laughs> this is hard. You just get to play. You can just want to have the fruits. So when you smudge, then you can go to the paintbrush, pick a proper brush so i can pick on this so now ctrl z i i said something at that time i said if i want to pick up the color in the atmosphere all i need to do is click on alt key then click once then the color it will pick the color we have the i can make an outline here then rub it in i think this is the Paint, paint brush tool. And then go to the smudge tool. And do the increase the hardness. So this is why you get to zoom out many times. So you can get to see. So the brush is too big. Something like this. And we can tweak the image again. So I can zoom out. Zoom in. And I can have something like this. So I'm just going to be wondering what is going on here. this and have the brush tool again increase it then go to pick soft round brush then you do this so i 
have this. It's on the table. So now I can save this as Control Shift S. I think I saw something. Okay, yeah. Control Shift S. Then we have Fruit 2. Fruit 2. So I said you can save it as a PNG file. PNG files are almost like the raw file, so they are bigger. So we wait for it to save. Yes. So I I I hope I, I make sense. And uh, this is what we did before. This is another one. And let's quickly check our images. Like uh, we did this. We did this. And So we also have fruit one. So now, uh, is, are there any questions? This is fruit one we did, and this is fruit two painted. Please, do you have questions before we pick on one more to practice with? Can you go over the two, one? If you want me to go over the two, okay, I know one without the one without the jug. I mean, do you want me to start a new? Okay, okay the one with, without the jug. Yes. Okay. Or you okay? One without the jug, or we should pick a new one and see how it goes. Um, I actually did not. Bless I you. left at a point. Yeah, I left at that point when you were erasing the job. So I don't know how you. I'm trying to listen. Okay, all right. Well, thank you, then. Okay. Uh, thank God for Ctrl Z on do. Let's go back. I wish this is a video to show how it moves. I'm glad you followed through and welcome on here. So I hope my studio C is also there. So edit redo smart to sorry undo smart to undo 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 undo. Okay, so the guy chose not to respond to me. So this is what I'm going to do. I, since we've saved this, I'll just close it. Um, no. Then I'll close this as well. So this is where we were. The jog. I think. Uh, let me pick it from open. So fruit one, open. So we got here. Blessing you are there. So what I said is that yes, let's just assume I don't want the job there. I don't want the job there. Thank you. And also because I don't want a repetition of what someone will actually tell me is what uh, that probably the image belongs to them or something. Or because I'm just using this as a reference training. Or it is an image you pick yourself and you want to remove one of the elements. So one can actually choose a razor tool to wipe it like this. You understand? And then do something else on the image. But because it's painting, I can choose to also use the same smudge tool on it. And I can even um, you know, I said we should try to play around when we're doing this. I can even turn it into another image, maybe something of that round nature, something roundish. You notice the smudge tool was actually going on it, and this is what we have. So I use the smudge tool on it instead of using the razor because the razor would have been too ash. 
it would have been too specific so here i can then increase my brush size and smudge this see i'm moving from the background just having a stretch a stretch a stretch a stretch a stretch so so when you get to that point that you don't need to define the edges then i said you can go to the brush tool so in order to pick the color on on the background you can click on alt key and on your on your on your pc you click on alt key then you just click once so to show this if i click and hold to show this so on the ring around the inner ring will show the color the picker has already picked which is close to what you have here and because i have the brush tool here so i can come here and i pick soft round or let's say pick soft round previous size c so instead of smudging the image it's so just painting it kind of you know giving a kind of atmosphere to it it's not definite you know I can remove it as a jog or probably just leave it there as something else. Probably something else. It could be a clue. It could be something. So and you notice the edge I'm painting is I can sorry, let me just zoom out. The edge here looks you know not sharp. And that's because I picked on soft round pressure brush so if i pick on the add round you notice it will be more definite see that see that but because it's a painting i don't want it to be too definite so the moment you are able to define certain edges you, know, you can go to smudge tool again now you it will use your smudge tool then you try to do the need for which is to play around the image again so blessing with uh, thanks for the question and and for following so when you practice so also for TLC and in the air, the more you practice the better you know now people i i do traditional painting of faces or still lives of landscapes oh it's unfortunate I don't, okay probably we can pick a landscape to and see <laughs> so what i do is now people want paintings that they can decorate their houses with and they don't want expensive ones i mean like they know that if they go to an artist and ask for one uh, you're going to quote the material the only material you need is downloaded brushes and a little understanding of what photoshop can give you. so look at this fruit now I, I i want to actually add certain highlights of this now I noticed that since the light is coming from this angle, you notice this place is actually subtle and yellow. So I can click on Alt key, click on the brush tool, click on Alt key, click on this yellow, and just do this. Now that's too big, so I can reduce it to somewhere here. And do this. And do this. Then I go back to my smudge tool. You know, just have. A nice time making the the fruits of the pumpkin like tomato look more sensual. So let's zoom out and see what we've done. Look at that. So, so, so you you just give the approach to this like a little child. Um, I think do I answer your question? Hello? Yes. Should we yeah, try yeah, landscape? Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Okay. okay. All right. So Control Shift S. Save. So this will be fruit three. So I already have three masterpiece fruits today. So you save as a PNG. Then you save. Make sure that it's a large file. 
the size and then you click on this but probably if you want to showcase this to a client you might choose a small size file so because uh, when they blow it up it's going to pixel it but because you are going to be printing this on the paper and because it's going to be a DI, this is going to look exactly like the way it looks on the screen even more creeps so now let's go on okay i have some images but they are images of lagos states uh, i don't let me see if i can find okay this is a bad one Okay, let's select one of the. Is anyone familiar with Ibadan? I actually have the picture of Ibadan here. Then I have uh, the picture of Idore Eels here. So these are carnival pictures. And this is Lagos and its clusters. So we go with the Ibadan picture. Okay, so let me go with the bottom picture. Image okay. 332. So now, file, open, file, open, camera roll. Then I go to, hmm, I saw one image here. Okay, let's, <laughs> I'm tempted. Let's click on this. I have this uh, image I took out with your leg back at the time. Let's see, how, let's see what it gives us. So now, since we are going for landscape, there's something called the rule of thought. Okay. Do you mind if I use this? Let me zoom out. Oh, it's still loading. Look at this. Do you want me to use this? I need a response, please. Yes, yeah, this is Lagos Bar. Yes. Okay. Anyway, this is Lagos. Yes, this is Lagos. This is Atujo Lagos. Okay, during one of the raining season, you know, the drainage are bad anyway. But there's a beauty to the chaotic face. So there's something called rule of thought. You will notice that the image have two sides that are heavy. There are cars here, the yellow buses. There is another car coming here and this kekena pep. So what you do is this. You go to crop. Don't forget, I went to open, file, open, pick the image. Then you go to crop. You balance your image out first in case of this landscape. So I am going to crop out certain area so that I'm going to have a particular focus I will be working on. So I can just drag this. I can drag this, then drag this. Uh, I think this 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 looks. So I can drag it up to the food cellar, then enter. So I'm going to have this. Look at this. So I think I have a balanced picture here. So now the next thing I said was. You go back to image, then you try to edit your image. So you can start from bright and contrast, but most times I start from the levels. So when you drag the level, see, it can turn it to dark night time, or you can give it like early morning or dark afternoon too bright. But what we are doing essentially here is to balance things out. Like, establish the contrast and make the, the image look good so we click on ok and the next thing i said you should do is go to vibrance or well, sometimes you can go to exposure you know and like i said it, it's 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 up to you to just play around you don't take this too seriously art is that mysterious when you take it too seriously it's almost like it's going to be behaving like hard to get when I decide to then the offset all I'm trying to do is just to make the color look more subtle 
colorful and rich in contrast and colors then we go to adjustment again on that image then we go to vibrance then i said you can increase the saturation to the extreme look at the yellow buses because we want to have a colorful painting so if it is photograph i'm not going to do this definitely but when you look at it the what the the, the the buses are reflected in the in the water the buildings are looking if it is blue it's looking that bluish even the signage is looking that interesting so then the vibrance you can track it a little then you click on okay so after this then i ask you to don't forget i went to file open then i went to image adjustments i did levels i did exposure i then did vibrance and some some so now we can go next to filter so the first thing you do when you get filter is to go to sharpen then you sharpen the image it makes it more you know crips and sharp then you can do i say you can do it twice depends on how how you want it once you notice it's going to it's going to mess up your image and you, you stop it then i said sharpen edges then i want sharpen more Sharpen more. See, sharpen more totally changed it. I don't want that. So I can just click on this, then click on just sharpen. So it's already given the work a kind of, a kind of texture. You know, I still want it to be glossy. So after that, then you go to the filter gallery itself. It's under filter. You do filter gallery. When you are under filter gallery, then you have this. So the moment you have this, when you look down on your left hand side, you see certain percentage because I want to be able to preview the whole thing. You can click on this. It might say fit to screen. So when you click on fit to screen, it will show you the whole the whole um, um, image. So then we'll go to our template on the right side here so when you click on the templates you click on the first one which is artistic and just try it out color pencil let's see what it gives us not interesting let me try cut out look at the cutout the cutout looks like a graphics rendering of like a cartoon effect of this with your leg by our side looks interesting but this is not what we want then i try dry brush then you can try film grain then you can try fresco it's too dark neon glow no paint dubs palette knife plastic wrap now the plastic wrap give another interesting view let's, let's keep going plastic wrap poster edge rough pastel smudge stick sponge underpainting looks blurry watercolor is dark and let's go to brush strokes accentuated edges angle so there's no Just clicking them, you know, traditional painting.
Sorry, can't hear you speak. You are speaking. Okay, <laughs> sorry, I got disconnected like in a second. Are you with me? Hello? Yes, okay. yes, I can hear all you right. now. Thank you. Did you follow me all to this page? You, we, you were not speaking, we just saw your... What I was speaking? Also moving. Okay, I think, uh, yeah. I think it was the internet. So I chose this, cut out. So what I have here is I said that uh, the setting looks like graphical. It's totally different from what we'll be having, but I am not comfortable with. Uh, I want to. I'm not comfortable with this commercial signal here. So uh, what uh, blessing and to uh, see if you remember, I did something the other time which was this commercial, I mean, I smudged something out. So I can click, pick, pick on the smudge tool now and just do this. You understand? Or I can just even erase it. But because it's in the sky, it's going to actually smear around. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to control Z. So what I'll do is I'm going to just use a razor tool to wipe it off. Now, if you look at the razor tool, you notice that the sky has its own feeling to it. So I still can use the razor tool. So we do filter gallery. So I have this. So another thing I can now do is now what I believe crazy artist to do is what if we paint our sky let's see a kind of midday blue let me increase it you know, so look at this i can just have this so this is something else that uh probably we wouldn't have had see this i can have this i can do this here then I can go to my smudge tool and now <laughs> try to tweak it and make it uh, give me that kind of give me that kind of um, I want it to give me um, the feel of sky you know, I can increase the size and I'm going to have this look at that and, and and if you are observant, you notice the cloud do look uh, interesting many times. It, it takes a form it likes, and all we can do as human beings is just appreciate it. So look at this. Look at this. So right now I have a sky. And now this blue again, 
So the moment I had that blue tweet, you notice it was not reflected on the on the water here. So I have to put this here so that we are going to have a balanced work. I can even smudge a little, smudge a little. Then I'll go back to filter gallery because you notice the, the design, the stroke here is totally different from how the buses were rendered. So I can go to filter again, filter gallery, and go to my cutout. Now, don't forget I said you can click on here to have fit on screen. So we have a cutout now. And look at what it gives me. So instead of the blank white, this is what it gives me. So when you're done with this, then you save Control Shift S. Control Shift S. So then save on computer. Save on computer. You click on G. So this is my original image. So PNG. Uh, let me save it on picture. Save. So you can go online, you know, and pick any image you, you like or you find interesting. Just crop on the left and the right, and 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 do the necessary things. You can you can paint a woman plotting uh, a younger girl or an adult. You can you can you can paint on um, on kids playing on the streets. You can paint the portrait of yourself. So any question please. And if you need me to go back anywhere you are lost, I can gladly do that as well. Please I have a question. Thanks. Yes, this please. board that we try to erase, you know, there are still some parts showing at this down part, and it's kind of like, it's kind of like sitting on the building. So how can we remove the remaining parts? Uh, which parts, please? I see, please. This red one showing the um, board that we. Um, on the landscape, right? No, she meant that sign. Okay. That sign. Yes. <laughs> Seriously, thank you. I can see that. These remaining yeah. parts. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. So now, let me introduce you to Spot Healing Tool. Now, when you click on, it's on the, it's on the, thank you so much for the question. You know, they have eyes for the details. You know, when you go to take photograph shots and probably there's a spot on your face, a pimples you don't like that can sp spoil the whole combination, the whole spectacular perfectness. So you click on the spot healing brush tool. So when you click on the spot healing brush tool, let's see what it does. Like I have it, in, I can increase it. Look at this. So you can see that it will not destroy the image. All it will just help me to do is so when you want to use it to zoom out on your image, you zoom out on your image, you zoom out on your image. See, so just just click on it, click on the edge, click on the edge, get it tidied. So spot healing brush. Don't forget, spot healing brush healing brush so uh you can reduce it so if you reduce it i can just make a sweep i can just make a sweep of that you know it's it's trickish but it's it's achievable so like well, so it's gone thank you Blessing, do you have questions? Ugo, please. So we can save again. No, I don't. Uh... All right. Yes. 
we have uh, less than 15 minutes to go so <laughs> do you have anything you want me to go back on or does this look interesting to you so we just this you are on your on the on the high road to achieving excellent uh, digital painting i mean this can be translated into different things it can be printed on clothes it can be printed on canvas it can be it can be duplicated in different ways and signed and you can sell it as a traditional painting at the same time you can also sell it as an nft work so, please uh, if you are lost in any way let um, me know i want to ask again a... what of the water you know from my view the water is kind of like showing like blue at the other side yeah. is that looking okay yes yes and the other one too. blue on the, this side okay the blue here let me zoom out yeah it's actually a figure it's a figure of someone you see look at the legs let me zoom out better so you get to see it. Can you see it's a figure? It's a okay. figure of someone. So all right. So you can see it. You see, I, I deliberately didn't didn't cut this part off, but you know, you may crop this. This is what, what makes this painting interesting. Like if you look at it closely, this looks like a composition on a swan, like someone selling. Yes, something it's made that in the in somebody buying yes yes and this is what the rule of thought does because if you if you cut this part off you notice that the the car the caravans are actually on their on another on another sea so this is like another composition on its own so it's like two in one painting if i cut this off now i'm going to have a painting and if i cut this part too and just in include this the caravan a little or even not at all and i'm going to have a perfect painting here so okay thank you any other question you're welcome So now, yeah, for practice, you can pick on any image. You know, you can you can have it wrong. Like every artwork, you know, artwork has mostly representational and non-representational. And what we have here so far has shown that you can translate the artworks into different things you want. So it's you calling the shot, and you give it the title you want. On Pinterest, there are, there are usually uh, uh, uploaded images that are, you know, free to download. Beautiful images from portraits to figure to to still life, uh, like fruits, like uh, breakfast sets. Then, uh, then you have the landscape too. So. This is an example. This is an example of flower I saw. I take my own images. But sometimes you go online just to have a kind of freestyling, just looking around to see what people have. Why is this taking long? Pa, 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 pa. Anyways, but you understand what I'm saying. So now for the face part. You know, like I said, it takes time, but with practice, it, it get better. And if you're on the Telegram platform, I will try to send links of, you know, this, this is like if I saw this online and you can, so this is another one. Look at this. Now you notice this person signed the work here. But that's not your problem because all you need is a composition to work with 
this is what we used before look at this look at this look at this so so once it's turned into a painting then it becomes your work but before it is turned into a painting it is not your work until it is turned into a painting then so this is this is my image originally i use this image for uh, 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 a gallery or uh, web page and I, I did a painting of it like this probably because i'm an artist i want something a bit crazy that is why i did this but essentially you may not have all this splash and sp spray you can just just smudge the skin when you smudge the skin and you notice the cheekbone the pattern of flow of the flesh there is different from the forehead and the hair and the eyes and the neck and then the clothes so usually when i do this i do the background first then i do the clothes or i just go in on the face sometimes the face can be daunting like exhausting then afterwards so when you do it a little you get tired you can listen to music by doing it or just take time out or you can just be saving your work in progress so So now let me show you the picture of like a traditional painting. And, uh, okay, take for instance like the 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 uh, what uh, Tuyas you saw the other time. Let me show you. Look at this traditional painting. And look at this. I want to to look at it side by side. <laughs> like. Um, Look at this. Look at this then. Let's now let's have it side by side. Okay. Then Look at this. So, save the image being, you know, uh, a photograph or something, but look at what we have here. Look at what we have here. So, I can as well, I can as well, you know, crop this out. Since I've saved it, let, let's, let's do that. Let's crop it out and have something interesting to see. So, now, I have this image now. Let's crop it out. I mean, like, sorry. Okay. Yes. So let's crop um, from here. Okay, so probably here. It's your image, so don't be afraid. Like the heart, it is. Don't be afraid to <laughs> to tear it down and look at this. So now you can as well go to file new. Okay, new. Okay, so we have something like this. I want to. Uh, not so great okay look at this great so I can have this Okay, so now look at this. 
I'm, I actually wanted to do something. We have less than five minutes to go. Okay. I actually want to place that in the background. So, so let's control shift S. Let me save time so we, you get to see what I'm trying to showcase. Placing it side by side, an original, I mean, a traditionally painted canvas painting. So, So now let's look at the image. So I have this. I have this. So please look at this. So, I think we have something interesting ongoing. So, so the same thing goes for um, um, still life paintings and portraitures. Yeah. So, uh, thank you. Any more? Any other question, please? This other one was it so done this is achievable. This I... No, <laughs> this was painted in the studio with oil paint. So I'm just trying to show okay. you that it is time to use technology to our advantage. So this was painted on the canvas, oil on canvas. It's a oil on canvas. It was painted oil on canvas. But this is what we just did at the comfort of our room. And at the comfort of our computers and phones now. So I this there can be original piece, original piece as a price to it, but then we can only sell it once. So then the image continues to be purchasable. But look at what we just did now. It means I can I can make this into diverse colors. And target a series, and it can be 100, and I can have it on a on a on a on a blockchain, and and it's going to sell. Especially by the time I did the content on it, that's okay. I decided to look at different junctions in Lagos, and decided to paint along on Oking Child. It can be and it can be a team for activism. But then it goes in on it goes on and on like the traditional painting here the, these are people transacting somebody's transacting something here too now essentially what the traditional painting looks like here is um, more of a naturalist style of painting the one we did today is more like cubistic kind of painting that is uh, pablo picasso kind of style it's it's cubist you look notice the pictures are you know like in boxes or in patches like like a kind of paper collage kind of style and this is realist like it's not like they are perfect as human beings but the way they were painted made them look more like give us a feel of markets feel of human beings and the, 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 the corn and what they are transacting so you can always do this and and the the, the, the beauty of photoshop and the likes also is that instead of just editing your pictures you paint them so you sell your original image as a photograph and then you sell your original image turned into paintings so it's 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 uh, gives value and the value is built on the concept and everything. so uh in, in, the, in the telegram platform i can share more and probably in in future master classes 
thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yes, you're welcome. I think it's about time. So you're on the yeah, platform and you have what is it? Hello? No, I say you can make I... walks. Yes, I was saying that you can you can make walks and reach out if you need uh further further um little correction and in. the left and right and you can always reach out so you please can time can be made to quickly put me back on Hello. the track all right thank you yes hello yes i'm here so you please can i reach out to you i've been trying to like install yes can you hear me please yeah i i said i've been trying to install yes, the you. software but i've been having issues with it is it possible to like reach out to you to maybe i don't because i don't know what exactly is wrong it's not installing on my pc okay oh i uh okay <laughs> I understand. Sometimes there's a little. Hello, please. I can hear you if you are speaking. Yes, All right, bye guys. I think he has left. All right, bye.